Bridge, but then um, we kind of got a little lost so we just decided to drive straight through it and then now we just had lunch over at a Mandarin place and now we're heading over to Napa so we'll see you soon We got some stories to tell. So basically it is day two now in California. Lucas is running into the gas station to get some drinks and some snacks for the rest of the road trip. And then Megan's running off to the restroom. But I just wanted to take a minute to kind of explain what's happening. I didn't really get to vlog as much yesterday just because not a lot of things went according to plan. So I spent most of the day actually more immersed in the moment trying to figure out like what we want to do rather than documenting it. So basically yesterday we got in around 9 a.m. and Megan and her mom Claudia came and picked us up from the airport. We kind of fought through traffic to try and get to the Golden Gate Bridge. There was a couple um, points where there's some construction so it was a little hard to try and figure out where to park. Like by the end of it we decided to just drive through the Golden Gate Bridge to go to Napa. It was about, what was it, maybe like a two hour, there's some traffic, maybe a three hour drive from San Francisco over to where Lucas's uncle lives, Uncle David and Aunt Jen, Jen with a J. They have three kids that are really sweet and a lot of fun. And so when we got there last night, and we kind of decided like we didn't really know how many wineries we could do, kind of were a little pressed for time. So we decided to just do one winery and we're gonna do, I can't remember, I think it's Kiss, Castello de Amorosa. I might have butchered it, but it was something like that. It was like a really beautiful castle and we were like, if we're gonna do it, we'll just do that one. But then when we got there, there was a sign saying that they did reservations only. So it was a total bummer. We didn't have any reservations. We didn't know we were supposed to make them. So I guess because it's Memorial Day weekend, they might have just done that. And at that point, it was like five o'clock and most of the wineries and wine tasting rooms like closed around six. So we tried to like head over to the nearest one. It was a little bit out of our budget. So it was a bummer. We didn't get to do any wine tasting <laughs> in any of the wineries but you know it is what it is we had decided to make the most of that evening so we kind of regrouped back at the house and we decided to eat over at hog island oyster company in napa and that was super good i grew up not liking oysters so i wasn't sure how that was gonna go but it ended up being really really good and it was uncle david aunt claudia megan me and lucas and we had some wine can't remember and can't tell you what it was called but we had some white wine and some red wine and we we laughed a lot and it was a really good evening 
evening. So we did end up drinking wine in Napa, just not in any of the wineries. I guess it just gives us another reason to come back soon. That is what we ended up doing last night and we woke up really early this morning, so I probably look super tired. We woke up at like 4.30 to head over to Yosemite. It's a little rainy, but you know, we're gonna see how it goes and hopefully it's a lot of fun. So I'll make sure to try and vlog a little bit more. So see you soon. <music> National Park and it's pouring rain. Got by the visitor center and got some postcards and we're gonna try and drive around but a lot of the roads are closed and it's, it's literally pouring so I mean Washington girl can't get hurt by a little rain right? <laughs> it's raining a lot that's my update we're gonna head over to what's it called Megan the tunnel view tunnel tunnel view discover view something like that and we'll see if there are things to see <laughs> it's pretty rainy I mean we're from Washington rain should be nothing it's fine it's totally fine arrived at Lucas's grandparents house Oma and Opa which stands for grandma and grandpa in German Lucas hasn't been here in two years so we thought we'd stop by here with Megan and just kind of visit we're gonna have dinner I think Oma is making uh, German balls and maybe some mashed potatoes I don't really know what else is on the menu but I'm super excited and I'm super hungry I'm just kind of walking outside kind of enjoying the nice weather because this morning we had a lot of rain and I'm sure that you saw some montage footage of all the rain that happened Bummed, let's be honest that we didn't get to see a lot of the views in Yosemite but no worries because I'm gonna come back in August and take a look there but you know it was just all about the experience it was really just a detour on our way here and then after dinner we're gonna head over to San Francisco for three hour drive I believe we're gonna stay the night there with Megan and then we're gonna kind of explore tomorrow and so hopefully we'll have some more footage then so until then I'm gonna have some dinner so talk to you later <music> My dad grew up having chickens, so I love that they have chickens. Okay, bye.
is day three over in San Francisco. I'm over at Japantown right now. I just finished up a photo shoot with a good friend of mine and I'm waiting for Lucas and his aunt Claudia and Megan to come meet up with me so we can finish out the day in San Francisco before we fly back home to Seattle. So I think what's next is we are gonna go to the Golden Gate Bridge perhaps, maybe take a couple photos and maybe grab some lunch. Last night we didn't get around to doing much. We drove from Napa over to Yosemite and then we drove over to Lucas's grandparents' place. After dinner, it took us about three hours to get to San Francisco. So we just kind of kicked it at the hotel and ordered Uber Eats and got dumplings and everything and just kind of relaxed because it's been go, go, go all day yesterday. So this morning we woke up and we drove over to Japantown for my photo shoot and now we're just gonna spend the rest of the day in San Francisco. So take you guys along. See you soon.